right there. Uh -huh. And then here to here. I got you. Beautiful. Okay. Alright, very good. You alright? Decent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. get him saying perfect yeah. in a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make his neck perfect. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh go. my god. Superb adjustment. Adam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spot on. Yeah. Hit this man a call. Yeah, I'm <laughs> nice little injury here. Look at that guy. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Yeah. Is it broken or? I'm in the mortgage industry, and uh, as far as that goes, like I'm sitting at the desk a lot, yeah. and I'm usually slunched over, and it's a bit of a grind, you know, in that sense. It, it's uh, not as physical as some of my old jobs, and uh, you know, back in the day when I was younger, I was in boxing, and it sort of, you know, did did its part, you know, hurt like screwing up my shoulder and a couple other things. And so you, you said you were having, you feel like you, you have a wing scapula, you've been going to a chiropractor, and this has been going on for how long since you were a teenager, or how long would you say? Uh, I'd say like, I started boxing when I was a teenager, and it really didn't get bad until, I'd say, probably like 20, 21, somewhere uh -huh. around there. And then also on top of that, Back in the day, I was playing basketball, and uh, some guy took out my legs, and I landed on this knee, and uh, it sort of blew up on me. So that might have been something that started something, okay. and then the boxing compounded on top of it. So You mentioned plantar fasciitis on the, just the left side? Yeah, pretty much the left side, plantar fasciitis, the knee, okay. hip, we'll check all rib. That yeah, pretty much the whole left side from, okay. you know. Have you had any radiating symptoms down your arms at any point? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. If you, when was the last time that's happened? Okay, like, uh, well, pretty much all the time. I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't say it's, like, pain exactly, but, like, I don't know. I got this clicking in the wrist. When did that start? Okay, that started around the same time with the boxing, which was, like, I noticed, like, back in the day I used to throw a pretty hard jab, and then it started being painful, and you just try to punch through it. And uh, since then, the forearm is, you know, a little jacked up. So you, injuries to your arms, a lot of years of boxing. Yeah. Getting blows to the head was a frequent thing? Or? Uh, yeah, definitely that. They used to say um, he could take a punch and get one, so, like, uh, which is, you know, and probably should have been a little bit more defensive, but, has, you know. when was it, has there been any imaging of your spine, neck, back, anything? Um... Any we got imaging on the shoulder, elbow, wrist. But not the spine. I'm pretty sure we've had x-rays done before on the spine. But nothing, but way too long ago. Probably like 2017, probably. Okay. So yeah, it's All right, so back. mid 20s, maybe they took some pictures. So the, the reason why I, whenever we have traumas, your body expects them to keep happening. And mm -hmm. so what I worry about is the parts of your spine that quit as a result of your boxing. That's what I'm gonna examine today. Yeah. The parts, there are other parts that are gonna overwork as a result of other parts leaving. You're supposed to have 24 members of your team. And many times when we have traumas that then are exacerbated by posture, so we had all these injuries in your teenage and 20s, and now we're living our life sitting. Yeah. And so now we, doesn't require much mobility. And so we, that can sort of speed up the process of getting you stiffer because your body has all these injuries that it wants to protect and now your life doesn't require mobility. So I'm going to go through your spine, see if we can find uh, what parts are frozen, what parts are injured. The imaging just gives us better an idea. idea of how old the oldest part of your back is. Right. Okay. So you're 32. Mm -hmm. I expect to see a 32-year-old MRI. But gotcha. when we have injuries, we can have some parts look 60. Yeah. Maybe they're only 45. I don't know. They, they give us an idea of so the long thoracic nerve, which stems from the nerve roots in your lower neck, I think believe it's mm -hmm. C5, 6, and 7 are the nerves, nerve roots in your neck that go to the long thoracic nerve. The weakening of the serratus anterior muscle is what mm -hmm. causes that. Yeah. And essentially, long before you'll have arm sciatica, or and my hands numb, where everybody all of a sudden agrees with me, okay, there's a nerve pinch in the neck, yeah. or there's burning pain in the arm, and maybe you've had bouts with that, and there's been some radiation, but then it goes away because your body adjust yeah but my worry is that that's nerve pressure and what way before you get that full-blown event you'll have weakness you'll get tightness you'll get weakness you'll get uh, just odd symptoms like that and so what I really do is I treat the posture which takes the stress off the lower neck which then allows that muscle to function properly and and, and see if we can so we'll first examine yeah. it check it out good 
Okay, also I was gonna say, probably like the number one area if I was to like right around like there. So, and you see my shoulder went right there? Yes. That's pretty casual, but like also sometimes I notice if I like go here to here, so like right about there, and then. So you can repetitively just click that? I mean, yeah, it's uh, pretty bad. So I'd say right about here, right there, uh -huh. and then here to here. And then you, see here, you can hear my, like, so my, my hand can now move freely. Okay. But I'm sure that there's some scapula or winging right there. Just slowly let your head go back toward the ceiling. I want you to just slow, keep going, keep, look up at the ceiling. See, the first bend is, keep going, keep going. First bend that's of your skin is right here. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, let your head look up. And then, then, the, then it starts to fold up here, but the first bend of your neck mm -hmm. is in the lower neck, and that's where the nerves that essentially, that you're, when you're holding your hand over your spine, these nerves are being pinched in here, and you're right. not just mobilizing your shoulder, but you're mobilizing the joints in your lower neck. And when mm -hmm. you overwork a joint, the joint will grow. I believe that the more we get your alignment better and the hypermobility of your lower neck, your ability to even do that will go away or become difficult. Mm -hmm. And that's what I... I'm worried that by repetitively that area being so unstable from the injuries you've had that those bones are going to grow in there and then the surgeons get a hold of you <laughs> because okay. the bone spurs are now hitting the nerves. The nerves in your spine control the muscles. And so when you're having, when you're moving your body around, like for instance, if a nerve is upset in your spine, a muscle will be in spasm. Then that muscle spasm isn't letting the tension on the cable be released. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. And then your there are sensors in the tendon that when you stimulate these sensors will actually relax the muscle temporarily. Yeah, yeah. But then if the tasering from the nerve goes back to that muscle, it just resets and goes, you're going back to the same position. Yeah. They're actually they're actually part of what a reflex does. So when you when when someone's sitting mm -hmm. and you, you know, hit the tendon, you know, the leg will right kick yeah. out. Why did that happen? Because I stimulated these uh, sensors in my tendon that caused the muscle to feel like it was going to stretch and get torn, and so the muscle contract as a protective mechanism. But there's called Goldie tendons, little sensors in the, in, the, in the tendons in here. So all of the muscles, all of those sensors are controlled by the neurology. And because we don't have any pictures, and I already can see some postural, yeah. if you just come yeah. over here again. I, yeah, trust me. I'm, so we're dealing with about two inches forward. Your, your head is forward from your shoulders. Yeah. And that tension that's going to be in your shoulders from the position where you believe center is, is now going to create all that tightness in not only the muscles from the posture, but the nerve pressure that is going to happen in your lower neck that's going to weaken the muscles. Your tendons are going to be elongated. You then, you then, when you're doing that maneuver, you're pressing on the tendons. You're saying activating the sensors in there, getting the muscle to relax temporarily, but then it, it comes right back in a few minutes. I want to get the pressure off the nerves. I want to get your ear aimed back over your shoulders there's a thing called a lordosis, there's a curve in your neck, mm -hmm. and I believe that if your posture is centered, that the nerves are gonna flow better from your brain to your body. You're not gonna have all this tension. There could be a lot of lactic acid in the muscles, which we'll go in there and clean yeah. out. Yeah. In a second, we're gonna go in there and explore, and you know, there's essentially cellular exhaust, like in the armpit and shoulder, all the serratus. We're gonna go in there and clean all that out, but it'll just rebuild back up again is the point. Yeah. If we don't change the posture, and Ed, it felt better for a couple of days, and then it came back. Yeah. And so, ultimately, if we are not working on getting your, like, if I'm standing, you're saying my ear wants to be over my shoulders, but I'm looking at you from the side, your head is forwardly angulated, and that is like primary one that needs to be worked on. And it's it's understandable. We have injuries, and now your life, so yeah, we're bent forward, and so it, we have to do things to loosen you up, and then counter-stretch you. Like, I've been to chiropractors, and you know, it's good, bad, and the ugly out there, but it seemed like you knew exactly what you're doing, so I thought, you know, I treat posture there. first. I, if, you, if you fix posture, all symptoms go away. I really, yeah. I, I believe that the, at the foundation of all problems, essentially the brain communicates to your body through nerves. One of the things that even having your head forward does is the actual spinal cord is held tight. Mm -hmm. And think of like a cord that's held tight, it's easy to pluck like a guitar string, right? So having your head forward tethers the spinal cord and makes all of the nerves easily agitatable. It's like, you know, a person in a bad mood. You know, all you do yeah. is do something wrong and then all of a sudden they freak out on you. You know, so getting the alignment better releases stress on the spine. There we go. Bend both the knees. 
There we go. All right. All right. Keep these arms crossed. Gotcha. Take a deep breath in for me. We'll sit up. And then let all the air out. And just relax your chest. I got you, buddy. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Relax your chest. Deep breath in for me. Beautiful. Exhale. Relax your chest. Let the jaw relax open. Just let the air, air out. Exhale. Good. One more. Good. You're good. You got my catch on. Let the air out. Relax. Let it go. Exhale. Good. All right. Let's go on your side face. Breathe for me, man. I got you. Exhale. There you go. Good. Another side for me. Other side. Okay. Just relax your back. Face up for me, you get the Just relax. There we go. Let me just see how it moves here. We're going to go real gentle here. Just this top guy a little bit. Very good. Relax here. I got you. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Very good. You all right? Decent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to this kind of thing. Right. I'll tell you. They, uh, They've worked on before. Okay. Yeah, one of these yep. people were like, I don't know, I'd go in there and get that, uh, what do you call it? The electro things on it? I'm so sorry. No, 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 I'd be like, like, I'd be like, crank them up as hard as, as high as you can, and they'd be like, well, we don't want to, and I'm like, ah, it's all good, you know. So. <laughs> you don't need to be electrocuted. Now. Okay, I don't. Yeah. I, I, but that, it doesn't change yeah. physiology. It doesn't change posture. Mm -hmm. It doesn't achieve any of the goals that I want, which is why I'm not gonna. I don't have a tens unit here, or interferential currents, or e stim, or Russian stim to stick on you. And I have a wall socket that you can stick your finger into if you like. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not all about that. I mean, yeah, I'm not all about that either. I'm just, I'm just yeah. teasing. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's that probably the... Something I noticed about this side, <laughs> Big too... Big bump right here. If it's not yeah, I was going to say, something <clears throat> about that side is last time yes, I went sir. to see this chiropractor. Yes, um, this sounds weird. Yeah. Everybody and their mother has a hard time with that side. I feel it. It's sticking out. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I noticed if I, like, grab right about here, like, it... Releases it. Yeah, last time they had a real, like... They actually were able to right. crack that thing, and oh. most of the time I always felt like they were messing up on it. You just relax. Relax your hands your belly. You okay, you, you, re you relax. You relax. Put your hands around your belly. All right, all right. Get I you. got it. I got it. All right. The, cool. This, we'll get it moving. I got you, buddy. I got you. Okay. Gentle. I got you, buddy. It's okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Relax here. There you go. Uh, I know. And yeah. Nice. I know. Decent. <laughs> <laughs> Decent. I'm going to get it. I'm going to yeah. get him saying perfect yeah. in a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make his neck perfect. I've been adjusting since I was 12 years old, bud. Yeah, my dad, my dad, my dad trained me on how to hold a head. And, yeah. <laughs> I got you, bud. It's like we're doing, it's like we're doing, uh, you know, fifth grade math, and I've been teaching, fifth, you know, algebra. Yeah, you know, making <laughs> nuclear bombs. Yeah. Early days. yeah, I got it. I, I see the problem. I'm just teasing, bud. No, it's all <laughs> I hear you. No, it, it, the bone is crooked, um, but it's ultimately because the body is moving the vertebrae around, trying to find relief. The body has injuries, and then it avoids. Your yeah. head, you just got done telling me, Ed, I did a dozen years of boxing, and so my head's been hit, and I would be shocked if the bones were in the right position, right? I'd be shocked if there things were where we're supposed to be. And I'd be even more shocked if they were in the right position if you haven't been doing any stretching, you know, or, or cervical curve restoration. So the body, of course, is going to subluxate. It's, of course, going to make things misaligned and then of course any area that's controlled by the neck is going to be affected your your thyroid will be affected your heart will be affected you understand and, and they're not separate problems they're the same problem of the health of your neck your upper back are tied with those organs and so making your spine healthier there can't be any soreness in here you know we got to work all this like up here all these little knots and tangles i mean yeah. he's he's pretty loaded here yeah i was gonna say uh -huh. um you were talking about like mm -hmm. the heart and all that. Mm -hmm. There'd be certain times when, and by the way, it's difficult to do like neck neck exercises, especially when like your neck is all screwed up. But mm -hmm. like there'd be times when I'm doing these certain like breathing techniques and just stretches in general, where like if I was breathing out, sometimes I would get like almost like a whooping cough. Like it's not irregular yeah. for me to be like, yeah. if I like breathe out something heavy, it'll be right. like. It'll sound like if you had the flu and you're trying to mm -hmm. like, you know, really trying to force it out kind of thing. And I think you're dead on the money mm -hmm. with that. Yeah, I need to get this. Oh, there it is. That knot. Is it that feel right there? Yeah. That oh, is your problem. Gotcha. You know, up here on the main engine, you got all these clogs, and then your poor lower neck is overstressing. <clears throat> and then when, they, when you overstress your lower neck, the head goes forward. 
And now because your head's forward, all that clicking, we're going to do a test at the end. I'm, I'm really curious. If I have you try to, uh -huh. see part of what you're doing when you're lifting your arm up is you're pushing your head forward. And that makes all those tendons really tight. Oh, okay. And the only reason they're tight is because your head's forward. And then you're, and then you're able to pop them, <coughs> in a sense, by putting the head forward. It's the wrong position. A lot of that will be alleviated or even your ability to click or pop or misalign those areas if the ear was over your shoulders. You understand? Mm -hmm. The posture changed first and now all these symptoms arrive. And this, and I got, is, uh -huh, go this is what I keep telling all the other chiropractors, mm -hmm. and I'm like, will you just do something? And I seen your video, and I was like, hey, I'm coming down here. This is what your ears, your, your head's two inches forward from your shoulders. There's yeah. no more talking until that's fixed. That that yeah. has to be fixed first. What's confusing is you don't have full blown uh -huh. sciatica yet. Do you understand? Oh, this is good news then. Well, but but you're on you're, you're, you're on the you're, you're on telling the, me there's a chance. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> What's the chance of a girl like me and a girl, guy like you getting together? It's one in a thousand, one in a million. One, one in a hundred, one in a thousand. Uh, more like one in a million. So you're saying, saying there's a chance. chance. <laughs> yeah, it's just a classic movie right there, I'll tell you. So you're right. saying the neck isn't completely destroyed. This is, it's just the knots well, what I'm for saying the most is, part. What I'm trying to say is that the other doctors are... <sighs> Terrible. No! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I said, there, many doctors need things to be black and white. We need it to yeah. be full blown. Oh, oh, your hands going numb? Oh, you got burning pain? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's get the neck MRI. Oh, there's a disc injury. You understand? Then it's like cut and dry. Do you yeah. understand? You have, you're five years, three years. You're, you're, you're not at the level where it becomes crystal clear. You understand? Right. You're in this pre sciatica, pre neuritis area okay. that is primed for prevention. Right. All right. Good. But most of our doctors are reactive. Right. We wait till the problem becomes at a certain level, and now we react to it. I got tension. I got mm -hmm. these weird things with my knee and my groin and my hip, and it just things don't feel right. And I'm just I want help. Yeah, what is yeah. what does this mean? Yeah. It yeah. means that you have nerve pressure. It means that the muscles aren't getting what they need from your brain. So is it super red, I think? Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, the left man. side's a mess. I mean, I got all sorts of knots and dents and dings in here, bud. I remember when I used to go see a uh, acupuncturist, he'd be like, mm -hmm. it's like, this is drama. It's mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. Very. Yes. Yeah. I'll fix it right, right there. Yeah, that's yeah. a problem, isn't uh -huh. it? It's coming out right there, guys. See that? Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. But yeah, that little crunch in there is getting smaller. See how it's going away? Yeah. It's not nearly as crunchy as it was. Do you want me to, like, turn my neck in nope. a certain way? No, you just relax. You just relax. You just relaxed. I got you, bud. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lots of dents and dings in here. See, I already feel like I can breathe a little better. Yeah. yeah. When your ears over your shoulders, you can do anything. I got you, bud. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, there you my go. God. <laughs> See, that's what all the other chiropractors were like. What What the hell am I doing here with this? Hmm. And uh, Superb adjustment. Adam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Spot on. Yeah. Hit this man a call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No longer decent. Yeah. Uh, just teasing. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> I got you, bud. Okay. I got you. Easy, easy. Uh -huh. right there. Oh, there we go. 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 All right. All right. Uh, uh, we'll fix it all, bud. I'll get you. I see what you're getting at. I get you. <laughs> I'll fix your back, bud. All right. I got gotcha. you. Right here. It's all needs it. It's all filled with acidity. All right. Yeah. I shouldn't have been expecting this. Uh huh. <laughs> Because even when he did the plantar fasciitis, uh -huh. it was even more painful. Uh -huh. Even more pain? I had a mental, yeah, I should have mentally prepared for this. Whew. All right. I can't, be, I can't be known as the less painful guy. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just plant, plantar fasciitis mm -hmm. is damn painful yes. to get rid of. I'm sure you know. It's ultimately, it won't go away unless we get the weight back on the heel. The, the weight on the toes... About 30% of your weight should be on your toes. And what happens is when we shift our weight from our from the ball from the you know their heel to the ball of the foot, it's when it drops the arch, the fascia gets pulled, and yes, it's very painful. But ultimately, the forward head posture is connected with it, and it won't go away by just working on the foot or the leg. You have to get the posture. You got to get this in here.
Mm-hmm. through all this. Yeah, I know if I, uh, uh, I know if, uh, you know. <sighs> injury here. Look at that guy. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. What are you seeing right injury, there? Injury. Like injured it. Yeah, so the body healed it in a big ball of yarn. Oh okay. <laughs> protecting it. Oh. Like is it broken or it probably was, maybe maybe it cracked or enough that the joint got injured enough that it put up <laughs> permanent wall around itself. You know, uh, it put up a fence of, of protection. Gotcha. So, this is a guard mode. It tells me something, something happened in here, a bomb went off, and then your body put a bunch of, you know, prison fortress walls around it. Right there. Let me ask you, you think, uh, you think that'll be able to come back Absolutely. online? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I do all the time. The only thing I'm worried about is permanent injuries, you know? Permanent injuries are in the disc, and that's what we have to have. That's why I asked about imaging. MRIs will show them. Yeah. So that's the only way for me to really evaluate from that perspective of, you know, <laughs> We can't unage a disc. We can slow it from aging, but we can't. I can't make you look 18 again. Right. I can't unage something, but we can stop accelerated aging. And that. Am I able to mm -hmm. get a uh, X-ray through you? I would order an MRI. We, we order a $200 MRI of your neck. That would be the first thing I would. If I was going to continue tr treatment with you, I would recommend. Okay. Um, an MRI of your neck, and then we let's see how your spine's aging. Right. Let's see if your spine looks 32. Gotcha. And if it looks 32, we're good shape, right? But what I usually see is part of your spine looks 18 yeah. and part of your spine looks 55, yeah. right? And so you feel as old as the average parts of your back that move. And so if you only have the 55-year-old parts moving, Ed, I'm freaking hurting. I got things clicking and popping and I don't feel good. Gotcha. Right? So we got to slow down the stress on those areas. Feel free to destroy that injury. I don't, All right, well, I don't care. If like I said <laughs> I know, it's, it's tangled there, but you got it right there. That is a significant injury you have here on this left side, but that doesn't exist over here. You notice the difference, right? There's, that does not exist at yeah. all. Yeah. Do you think that's a disc? No, sir. Okay. It's, it's, well, it could be the disc underneath, but what I can feel is the joint and the tissue above the uh. joint that's been injured. Now, the muscles are doing the tightness because they're trying to protect uh. the joint and the disc. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. And the nerve that might be pinched underneath, but <coughs> it's a pretty large injury. Watch my tool, see if everybody can home see, right? Coming smoothly and then it's stuck. And right there is the... So that might be all the problems I got right there. Mm-hmm, right there and right where, right where, when you watch this video later, you'll see Ugh. there's the injury. Oh, man. All right. Smooth, st stuck. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a hill, a speed bump in here. And that how bad do you think it'll be to get that out of there? It's like what I was saying. Uh, every, it's like combing a tangled hair. You know, you just keep combing until it's out. Okay. How many passes with the carpet cleaner? I don't know. You just keep making passes, and every the first pass, you get the most out of it, right? Yeah, yeah. And then every subsequent pass, you get less and less, and it'll get smaller and smaller, and um, it'll keep getting larger if we keep feeding it. If we don't see your work oh, doesn't require shit. mobility, so it just yeah. keeps locking it up more. Yeah. And I can actually feel uh -huh. 
better mm -hmm. situation in my left yep. hand and all that, and I think it's because of that. Yes, and uh, here's your left arm right here. We're going. This is the brachial plexus, uh -huh. thoracic outlet, the channel that all the nerves that leave your lower neck have to travel uh -huh. through here. And you want me to turn? You're fine. No, you're, good, you're, good, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right. I had a feeling there was something mm -hmm. like serious. Well, you know, I got all these injuries, but uh -huh. good to know that able to narrow it down specifically to like a mm -hmm. major issue right there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right there too. Oh yeah, yeah. What another one of those? No, it's right there. It's all gristly. It's more like a bunch of little ones. Okay. You know, but not one. This one's a nice concentrated you know ball. But this is like all little. Mini bombs went off in here. So it's not something like they're going to have to open me up. No, we'll fix, we'll fix you. We'll fix you. It's cool. all soft tissue. So you're stuck with me. You're stuck with the chiropractic. Oh, I'm Because cool. you're, still, you're still not at the, we would say, catastrophic. If you wait till it's catastrophic, oh. then, you know, it gets harder. But Let me tell you, like, for, I'd say, like a decade, I've been in uh, just a lot of pain from uh, the boxing. And there's a lot in here, but there's a lot. I'm getting them pulled. I'm, I'm waiting sure. to see where it stops. I'm sure of it. God. It's almost f***ing <laughs> ticklish. <laughs> Not exactly pain. It's I know. Farfic Nugent. No, no, you can go ahead and keep doing oh, it. It's okay. just... I'm trying not to be ticklish as all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, maybe if I turn it this way. Almost done. Do your thing. Go back to Princess Bride. Life is pain! Anyone <laughs> saying otherwise is selling something. <laughs> right there. Yeah. So is this uh, better than cupping, I take Way it? Way better. It gets it, everything. Yeah, cupping gets a, wherever the suction cup's underneath. This gets all the tissue. Right, you're not missing anything. You're not missing <sighs> any area in between the cups. Maybe if you move the cups around, it might get close, but you know, when you put it just statically in one spot, you're just getting a cookie cutter and it is uh is there a particular way you're supposed to go with that or is it just generally speaking kind of down the fibers right? kind of down, down the fibers fiber? okay. so when i'm working most of the muscles move up and down here some move laterally here so it depends on which fibers i'm trying to uh, i got you uh, treat but kind of going down the fibers like brushing hair you know you kind of go down the length of the hair kind of idea it's like a gotcha and for spinning it just runs this way so you see me combing. You know, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily comb this direction. Get the idea? It wouldn't be like this. It'd be like this. Because the muscle runs like that. It runs this direction. <clears throat> In this area, there's muscles going both ways. You have superficial muscles going this way, deeper muscles going up and down. You know. So you kind of go every direction in this area, but in certain areas you go only one direction. Wow. Oh my gosh. You will need to take an Epsom salt bath later today. Okay. Do my best to set just, that up. Yes. Yeah, a lot of water and just got a lot of lactic acid. I'll take a picture of your back in a second. Problem is I only got, mm -hmm. what do you call it, showers at my place. So. All right. Well, he man, it. You're going to be sore tomorrow. It's pretty purple. <laughs> purple, not red? It's mm. reddish purple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I knew uh, it was money well spent on this one, mm -hmm. so I figure it uh, be a difference maker in comparison to other doctors. So... Again, I notice like if I hit uh -huh. here, uh -huh. like that thumb is always an issue, uh -huh. and then like I know this has been dislocated, but like this knuckle in particular, that one I actually hit something on accident. Somebody was being a real, Jeez, what yeah, really. What have you done to these cables? There's supposed to be a sheath that holds all these cables in. I just felt all these cables like pop out in here. Yeah, you know, there's like you've torn some of the connective tissue that 
kind of like a zip tie that holds everything together, and that's why you're able to click and pop things in here. Do you think... Uh, There's nothing surgically. I'm just saying it's just, you end up hurting it more going in there trying to do anything to it. I'm just saying that's the result of injuries, scar tissue, yeah, things you've torn, things you've broken. Is there any way to bring that back? Well, we can untangle it. That's the, I feel a lot of tangles in here, and so I'm just curious what happens if we untangle it, you know, and then see how much improvement we get just by cleaning it all out. Un like right here, there's a huge tank right here, right there, the tangle. Right? It's not supposed to be knotted like that. I was going to say, like, I noticed actually the more you go up on this uh -huh. is really where the issues are at, uh -huh. like just messing around with it. But uh -huh. a lot of the times they'd be messing around with the wrist and... Uh, uh -huh. I don't like what I'm feeling here. I tell you something weird is actually like right in this area. If you check uh -huh. that out, like see that? That's just, that's, you just popped your flexor. Uh -huh. Those are your flexor muscles of your wrist. Yeah. And correct, yeah, you're, those are tendons that you're popping over the bones by twisting, by tensing the muscles and then rotating. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, that and then. Well, this is the epicondyle, so these are attachment points. Right here? Yeah. Pain there is just an attachment. The muscles, the extensor muscles all attach. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, what do you... <laughs> you got it all tense, and I just want to get the acidity out of here and see how much this area can actually relax. Right where you're pointing up here, it's all filled with crud, man. There's all... There's not almost... There's less parts that aren't... There's less parts that aren't red. Yeah, I'm sure of <laughs> it. I knew, I knew coming into this that it was a... This is all... Like like I said when I initially messaged you, I'm like, yeah, I got a case for your YouTube video. I don't think there's, video. I mean, this is, this is, you're definitely, there's more red than not on your back. I'm certain of so, it. So. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the worst shape I've ever been in, to be honest with you. Like, I uh, just want to call it right there, just to, just to see how you deal with just the amount of stuff that I pull out of here. I've, I've had this done myself, and when you get a lot pull out, like, you're, man, I felt, you know, lightheaded after I left. Whew. Mercy. Oh, please mercy. Serratus anterior muscles underneath your scapula, infraspinatus, subscapularis. Oh, this has got to get released. Let me know if you want me to leave us. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. Good Lord, yeah. that is uh Yeah, yeah. I'll say this, I've seen some of your videos, I've uh -huh. seen where it's like approximately more red, but in the areas that it's red, it <laughs> looks like Austin Powers chest. So that's oh not gosh. a good look right there. It's really you gotta get that cleaned out, but I, mean, I wonder that you're suffering. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, not too in, I don't know of anybody who offers these services. Uh, I know. Yeah, so. Honey back for me. So the muscle, this tibialis anterior muscle right here is the tendon of this muscle is what supports the arch. Contraction of this muscle drops the arch. This muscle's contracted, too much weight on the toes, right? So it's, it's ultimately rubbing this muscle will not fix plantar fasciitis. You have to get the weight back onto the heel, mm -hmm. but temporarily you can <clears throat> alleviate plantar fasciitis symptoms by getting rid of any soreness in here. I was going to say something... I notice about on that end of things is it seems like uh -huh. if I was here, like, I don't know, if I pull on this, uh -huh. like it pops more like there, but also... <clears throat> You're contracting like, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, for whatever, my tibula mm -hmm. is not like a straight line. It seems like it's more like, mm -hmm. but I could be wrong. I don't, I'm not a pro by any... I gotcha. Means. 
I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Probably like uh, you've never broken the bones. It looks good. This looks normal no, to me. Not. I don't see anything. I don't think there's any damage to the bone. There's usually a little it's, bit of a sway to it. Yeah, it's usually like if I get down here is mm -hmm. where it's sort of like really, I don't know, mm -hmm. gets mm -hmm. weird. And then the mm -hmm. ankle's like. I got you. Yeah, I, got you. I digress. I, I, I'll just. You're fine. You're yeah, fine. I'm, yeah, I'm happy. I, you're the pro. So no, I, I'm just giving you what I've seen. I, I, I don't see anything. <clears throat> Nothing looks out of the ordinary from the legs I work on. I'm just saying it's just, there's definitely. That left, which which way? This one worse. Which one's worse? The left is the one where like I definitely got the plantar fasciitis. Yeah, it is. There's, there's, less, there's less contraction here. Feel the difference? Yeah, yeah. There's almost no contraction on your right one. Yeah, I and I got, say, a, I, got everything, a big, everything, I got a big, I got a big knot right here. Yeah. The right is generally, you know, good. It's always the left side that's mm -hmm. super jacked up. Like right here. I gotta get that worked out of there. There. Oh. I feel like I need like a little dowel rod to bite on, right? I guess like you. a towel. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Uh huh. That's right. Okay. Okay. You busted that toe, huh? Huh? You busted that toe? This one? Second Pinky? one? Pinky? Second one. This one? It broke? Injured this one? I don't know. Let me look at it. I mean, you that one? Probably haven't snipped my nails here. Are you it's the nail. You injured that one? No, busted. No. I don't know. What do you think? You think it feels injured to me? This feels injured. Like it's been injured and then it healed stiff. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Sometimes I think I got like. So you can feel. See the right, not so much. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's that area you were talking about, right? Yes, sir. Just keep your forehead right there. Yeah, okay, there you go. Gotcha. There we go. Keep that forehead on there. Exhale. Good. That's good. All right. Calm down. All right. Calm down. Breathe for me. Exhale. There. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna stretch now. Seem one. That one seemed pretty. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like, that would seem pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I feel like mm -hmm. I'm sort of mm -hmm. lined up here, mm -hmm. but here not so much. Yeah. This Should I to... turn this way? Or? No, you're 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 straight on it, but your back's okay, crooked. Okay. okay so yeah. your back isn't level, and so you're gonna feel crooked on it because your back is unleveled. Put the arm to the side. Okay. Arms to the side. Put the other arm to the right. There gotcha. you go. Try trying to stretch open the front. Front, like. Like the whole front part of your body. We're trying to open up. There you go. Oh, Let's see if I can take one of these out. Let's see if I can take one out. Okay. We gotta work on this stuff. Yeah, see, I feel like right mm -hmm. here, but if I was there. Move these side to side, good, yep. How was that? You gotta work that out of there. You gotta work that knot out of there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you bring your knees left. Keep the knees together if you can. Okay. <clears throat> and then you bring your knees to the side. Yep, you got it. Stretch that out. Yep, work that out of there. Push that left side, stretch the right side. <sighs> See, I wouldn't go any farther left until you work on this right side. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. This is stretching that knot that's on that left side, right? Yeah. Now. That knot has to lengthen. Okay. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right. Yeah, much better. So I'm saying you're about only about an inch now forward. Nice. You know, you got, but you got to, you got to take your body and arch it back, and then your body will be more centered, and we have to hold it there. I can Does that feel sense? like my shoulders are like a whole held a lot, you know, mm -hmm. more movement. 
Now, like exercising after uh -huh. this session, mm -hmm. would you say hold off on any of that? Or you're in the best shape to probably exercise yeah. ever. The main thing is, I want the end of the day. I want you doing that dental roll. I want you doing that stretch. Uh. I don't care what you eat, but you got to brush your teeth before you go to bed. You know, saying, I, you got to make sure that you can't end the day not brushing. Okay. Right. That's the main problem is that you've been living your life, being injured and not receiving soft tissue care at the very least. Nobody's gone in there and cleaned that soft tissue properly. Yeah, it's all yeah. filled with muck in there, and that's got to be cleaned out. And then you can keep it clean yourself with the stretching. Okay. Tell me about your stuff. Tell me about yeah. All right. I'm in the mortgage industry. My name is Jordan Black. I'm senior loan officer at LendPro. And essentially right now what we got going on is rates are starting to drop. And so currently in the market, there is a big supply bottleneck. So a lot of people all for the past couple of years have been saying like they're waiting for the whole economy to fall out. And really we've had these highly secure loans and there's not enough people that want to leave their 2% loans mm -hmm. and move into, you know, a six, 7% loan with rates coming down there's going to be some sellers that have been waiting to get right. out that are going to come up with that excuse mm -hmm. but also with rates come down you're going to have a lot more buyers which means that essentially premiums on houses are going to go up so while everybody's looking at the interest rate mm -hmm. ultimately two things are going to be missing out on is number one they're going to be missing out on all the money they're going to gain through appreciation mm -hmm. because these houses are going to go up and also they're going to spend even more money at the end of the day on the houses themselves generally speaking right now is a sweet it, to be honest with you if you could have dealt with the payment like a year mm -hmm. ago you know that would have been a sweet spot because coming up here interest rates are going to keep coming down okay and so if you get in now you're going to have a lower premium and then about nine to six months down the road, you refinance, uh, and then you are looking at a uh, lower payment as well. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, thanks for coming. I will, thank right. you, and I will yep. be back for sure. All right, yes, sir. Appreciate thank it. you. Thank you guys.